We sat here talking about these kids today ain't right. Hell, right. we ain't right. That's why he said seek the kingdom of heaven and everything else is going to follow. Right. Learn these commandments so you can teach them to your kids. So your kids don't grow up being whores. Your kids don't grow up being gangbangers. So you can walk into the kingdom of heaven. You gotta understand, there's a reason why we out here. We out here because we love our people. If we out here because we love our people, then there's a problem in our community. There's a problem with our people. And our people don't realize the reason why they're dying. Why we getting locked up. Why we getting oppressed. We don't realize those things. Those are judgments from God for disobedience. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. You understand? The brother brought out the scripture about the cross. You're supposed to cast that thing away. Yeah, but you know, you said, nope, I ain't going to do it. But what's the way? For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Do you love God? Yes. You love Christ? Yes. Give me First John 5 and 3. So how do you show him that you love him? That's what we got to understand. We don't really, we never knew how to actually show Christ's love. You know what we thought that we had to do? Go to church on Sunday and praise his name. Right? right. Praise his name. And you married? Yes. Could your wife tell you she loved you by saying, you know what? I'm going to go home, cook you a meal, and I'm just going to say you're a good dude. Is that the only way she can tell you she loves you? If that's how she be? That's not the only way, but yes. How about it should she be obedient to what you ask her? Right. That'll be showing you love, right? Right. Read that. For John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That's how you love God, by keeping his commandments. You understand? You're supposed to love God. You're supposed to love Christ more than anything. More than your family members, your niece. Give me that in Matthew 10. Bring uh, it up. She just gave you a gift. A gift that's sin. You understand? And the wages of that sin is what? Death. She gave you death around your neck. Christ gave his life so you got a chance to live. So you got a chance to get into the kingdom. Read that. Matthew chapter 10 verse 35. For I have come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Yeah. God said he come to set variance. Because you're going to have people say, you know what? I'm going to start keeping God's commandments. I'm going to start keeping the Sabbath. I ain't going to celebrate Christmas more, no more. I'm going to start keeping these laws. And you're going to have family members that say, no, you in a cult. They're going to still hold on to that church. they still going to hold on to that cross. They're going to still hold on to what's wicked. Read. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Hear that? He said, you love father and mother more than me? You are unworthy of Christ. You love your niece more than you love Christ? You are unworthy of Christ. You understand? Christ gave his life for you. He gave you death around your neck. Think about that. You got to think about that. Give me Matthew 6 and 33. You got you, you to think about that. Let that sink in your soul. You know what I'm saying? Because when you walked up here, you asked us, you know, we get this question asked us all the time. What do y'all got to do or what do y'all got for the people? You understand? They're always asking us that. What are we, like, you know, like we're supposed to have some economic plan for them when, why they still in sin. You understand? That make no sense. You in sin. You, yeah, the judgment that's going to come on you is death. What you should be trying to find out is what you got to do to get into the kingdom of heaven. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what the question should be coming. Hey, how do I get into the kingdom? He said, seek you first the kingdom of God because everything else is going to come after that. You want prosperity? Keep them commandments. You know what I'm saying? You want life? Keep them commandments. You want a good wife? Keep them commandments. That's how you get all the things that you want in life. But we've been constantly seeking what? Material things, carnal things. 
You understand? We've been trying to please the flesh instead of pleasing God. You know what I'm saying? That's what we've been doing. we we'll read it again. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God. Now, you didn't want to get rid of that necklace. I'm going to give you both men. I'm going to, you love God? You love Christ? Both of y'all said, right? Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Hey, I'm going to see. You know what, do you know what sin is? You say you've been watching this for a while. What is sin? No. No. That's the problem with black men. We don't know. We just shout out and anything out our mouth. Let me get what sin is first. I want you to come on over here so you can learn what sin is. Bring it up. First John 3 and 4. I'm going to show you what the Bible say what sin is. Because we've been listening to the pastors. You know, they've been sitting there telling us garbage like missing the mark. They've been feeding us lies after lies after lies. You know what I'm saying? And think about it. We pass on them lies to our children. We pass on lies to our children, then wonder why our children, the next thing they're doing is sliding down a pole. Next thing they're doing is gang banging. Next thing they're doing is selling dope in the neighborhood. Next thing they're doing is terrorizing the damn elderly. Because why? We taught them lies, and now they're wicked as hell, and we're sitting there talking about these kids today ain't right. Hell, we ain't right. That's why he says, seek the keep of heaven, and everything else is going to follow. Right. Learn these commandments so you can teach them to your kids. So your kids don't grow up being whores. Your kids don't grow up being gangbangers. So you can walk into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Right. Read the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Yeah. Whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law. So whoever commits sin transgresses God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. That's what sin is. And the wages of sin is what? Death. I'm going to give you all louder. All three of you men right now are breaking right now. You understand? Now I'm going to see if you love God. Because God said, if you love me, do what? Keep the commandments. That's how you show, like your child, for her to love you, guess what you got to do? Do what you ask. Right. Simple as that. She be an obedient child. When she's an obedient child, you reward her, right? No. You don't reward her when she's obedient and doing right? I don't reward my daughter for making the honor roll. I teach her that's no, what she what I'm, to do. What I'm saying is for if she sister. don't do it, what you going to do? Punish her. I show her what, what I, I show her what it is on the other side. If you I, don't want to do it for yourself, baby, I show her. Well, yeah, I do test out. Right. But right, I so, want her to see so, at nine how your life belongs to you. Right, so you give, so you I, do, I, 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 so I'm, you do give reward and you yeah. do give chest time. Yeah, I do. Rush this. Read it. First Corinthians yeah, 11. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. I'm right now, bro. I'm bringing out a law that you're breaking. Come on now. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Christ supposed to be our head, right? Yeah. Read. And the head of every woman is the man. So the head of every woman is the man. It ain't no 50-50, right? That's the order. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So it's God, Christ, man, woman, children. You hey. understand? Watch yeah. this. Every man, every man praying and prophesying, having his head covered. See, right now, we're in the midst of prophecy. You understand? Every man praying or prophesying, so y'all in the midst of prophecy right now. Read. Dishonor his head. Every man praying and prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. And who was our head? God. Christ. God is Christ. So while y'all got y'all heads covered, while this Bible is coming out, y'all are dishonoring Christ. That's right. So what you gonna do? Take your head off. There you go. You gonna take your head off? All praise. That's how you show Christ's love. That's how you show God love. That's your first act of repentance. When you hear these laws and commandments, you will heed to them. You understand? Hey, you see all these men out here? Yeah. These married men. That's good. And I'm guess what? Too. These married men and their children are learning these laws and commandments. That's Matter good. of fact, some of our kids can come right out here and teach y'all. That's good. You understand? That's good. Because we got to pass these things on. We got to understand these commandments is the wisdom of God. You know how you give your child wisdom? Because you want her to be raised right and be right in this world? Imagine your wisdom might help her do that. Oh, but imagine what God's wisdom would do. Oh, that's right. That's you right. know, imagine what God's wisdom would do. You know what God's wisdom would do for you? 
it'll we put you back in rulership of this earth. Because right. right now we're slaves. Well, we, we, the, the, we're slaves. Yeah, we are. But the saddest thing is, it ain't changing. Because it ain't enough. Guess what? It, you don't realize this is going on throughout the whole earth. Yeah, we got right. schools in almost every state, every city, where we, they're doing this thing. Right, Which, right. Where, listen, magnitude. the black people are always the last to know. You understand? Yeah, right. We're always the last to know. Because we actually, what you're going to find out is this right here. Our people hate God. Right. You understand? Our people hate God. They don't fear God. I'm going to show you how you didn't fear God. Read this. The book of Psalms. Chapter 119, verse 15. 59. 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. I said, I thought on my ways. You thought on your ways quick. Because you know what you did? You said, damn, I put that hat back on my head. <laughs> All praises. I made haste. You did what? I made haste. He made haste. He said, oh, oh, let me get this thing off my head. The word coming out. And delayed not to keep thy commandments. You see that? He said, I thought on my ways. I delayed not. I made haste to keep the commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're supposed to hear. Because we got to realize this is God. This is the man that created the whole earth. This is the man that put us on these slave ships for being disobedient. This is disobedience. This is the butt whooping. You think you can punish your child? This is God's punishment. His punishment is cruel. His punishment is hard. And guess what? Now he's sending out prophets in these last days to make you turn back to him. You understand? So imagine the prophets are coming to you right now and you sit there and say, you know what? Hi, I hear you two brothers saying, but you know, I, I got my beliefs, you got yours. You know, I'm good. Does this look like good? Bring it up. Does this look good to you? The rape, robbery, and murder of our people? This is what we said. God said, I'm going to do this to you. And we said, we're going to keep the commandments. We said, we're going to keep the commandments. I definitely, I definitely uh, 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 applaud huh? your man. I, I just, I just, you get that thing up that neck, ain't you? There you go. Yeah, I don't praise it. Get that brother here. I just love what, what, what y'all trying to do. Of course, with me, I'm, I'm trying to be able to understand how to meet our youth where they at right now. Give me this first. This is wonderful for, for, for mature young men and like yourselves and us. But the fact is, we ain't gonna be able to reach the average 14 year old young man who are already distorted. So how do we able to reach them? These old men we trying to reach. You see, that, you see that young brother right they there? They got Them young brothers out here learning, bro. They get they going to war for the people. We got plenty of young brothers that's in this thing. I understand Look. that, but I'm a young brother who go to the schools for 100 men read, and all I see is granddads. Hey. And I'm tired of that. So we got to get we got to be accountable for us as kings. Right. And the fact is, us men are distorted. So me personally, I, I'm with you and I'm learning that. But I try to help the younger you the men solution. where they at right now. Listen. Because they ain't hearing this over future and little dirt. That's just a right. fact. Hold so that. how do I reach them right now Hold where that. they at in your word? That's what I'm trying to Hold that. Give me Zechariah 13. Minutes. First and foremost, you got to understand that everybody's not going to receive this. True. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody didn't accept Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody didn't keep the commandments. Yeah. Right. We chose to be wicked. Yeah. And guess what? In these last days... Hey, hey, the Bible is telling us this right here. Watch it. The book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. God said two thirds, two parts. That's two thirds of all these people that you see on this side. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These laws were given to us. And he said, Two parts, two thirds are going to be uh, cut off and die. Read. But the third shall be left therein. He's only going to save one third. So when we go out here, we go out to these highways and byways, no, we it. know everybody, everybody ain't going to get it. We know it. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.